And we are at the 96 kilogram men's final match against Corey Jarvis from the Guelph Wrestling Club and Anil Mann from India. And this is the first Canadian we've seen in the finals of the Commonwealth Championships here in London at the University of Western Ontario Alumni Hall. Uh, and Mark, tell us a little bit about the uh, Corey Jarvis from the University of Guelph because, uh, in fact, that's where you spent a lot of your time as a coach. Well, he's a second-year uh, student at uh, Guelph. I guess he's just wrestling club right now. He's trying to get into university, and uh, he came from Elliot R Elliot Lake Wrestling Club, and uh, he won he came second at the junior nationals last year. And he he's a very talented kid, and he's got tons of potential ahead of him. He, he has a bit of an awkward uh, style, which I think complements why he's so successful. Well, awkward styles can mean uh, wrestlers uh, have, have a difficult time predicting what they might expect from them. Um, in fact, his Indian opponent, Anil Mann, um, is very experienced. He, he is a Commonwealth Games silver medalist, world cadet champion in 1997, and an Asian senior champion gold medalist. So this is a good way for Corey to get his feet wet in international wrestling. He's certainly going to find this is a, an honest test. A foot sweep try from uh, Anil Mann, who's in blue. Corey Jarvis, the Canadian from the Guelph Wrestling Club in red. So far we have a 0-0 match and uh, less than one minute to go in the first round. We really haven't touched on uh, if a wrestler steps out of bounds, they lose a point. So first person to step out of bounds loses a point. Regardless of the situation, even if you should be in total control. And uh, oh, and it looked, appeared as though Blue stepped out of bounds. That's a prime example. Blue was actually wrestling quite well and in a good position, but his foot went out of bounds and Red scores one point. So Corey Jarvis takes a one nothing lead with less than 30 seconds to go in this round. And Mark, he really needs to hold on to this one nothing lead to catch this round. And uh, Mann has, has taken advantage of Corey's inexperience. Corey got a little bit off guard, lean into Mann, and was thrown for a pin. It would have been three points if he'd been able to hold on, but the pin ends the match, and therefore no second or third round is required. That's too bad for Corey because he had started very, very well. The winner of the 96 kilogram men's Commonwealth Championships, Anil Mann from the India B team.